Jeremiah 10. Idolatry has brought ruin on Israel. Hear the word which the Lord speaks to you, O house of Israel. Thus says the Lord. Learn not the way of the nations. Nor be dismayed at the signs of the heavens. Because the nations are dismayed at them. For the customs of the peoples are false. A tree from the forest is cut down. And worked with an axe by the hands of a craftsman. Men deck it with silver and gold. They fasten it with hammer and nails. So that it cannot move. Their idols are like scarecrows in a cucumber field. And they cannot speak. They have to be carried. For they cannot walk. Be not afraid of them. For they cannot do evil. Neither is it in them to do good. There is none like thee, O Lord. Thou art great, and thy name is great in might. Who would not fear thee, O King of the nations? For this is thy due. For among all the wise ones of the nations. And in all their kingdoms. There is none like thee. They are both stupid and foolish. The instruction of idols is but wood. Beaten silver is brought from Tarshish. And gold from Uphaz. They are the work of the craftsmen and of the hands of the goldsmith. Their clothing is violet and purple. They are all the work of skilled men. But the Lord is the true God. He is the living God and the everlasting King. At his wrath the earth quakes. And the nations cannot endure his indignation. Thus shall you say to them, The gods who did not make the heavens and the earth shall perish from the earth and from under the heavens. It is he who made the earth by his power. Who established the world by his wisdom. And by his understanding stretched out the heavens. When he utters his voice there is a tumult of waters in the heavens. And he makes the mist rise from the ends of the earth. He makes lightnings for the rain. And he brings forth the wind from his storehouses. Every man is stupid and without knowledge. Every goldsmith is put to shame by his idols. For his images are false. And there is no breath in them. They are worthless, a work of delusion. At the time of their punishment they shall perish. Not like these is he who is the portion of Jacob. For he is the one who formed all things. And Israel is the tribe of his inheritance. The Lord of hosts is his name. The coming exile. Gather up your bundle from the ground. O you who dwell under your siege. For thus says the Lord. Behold, I am slinging out the inhabitants of the land. At this time. And I will bring distress on them. That they may feel it. Woe is me because of my hurt. My wound is grievous. But I said, truly this is an affliction. And I must bear it. My tent is destroyed. And all my cords are broken. My children have gone from me. And they are not. There is no one to spread my tent again. And to set up my curtains. For the shepherds are stupid. And do not inquire of the Lord. Therefore they have not prospered. And all their flock is scattered. Hark, a rumor. Behold, it comes. A great commotion out of the north country. To make the cities of Judah a desolation. A lair of jackals. I know, O Lord, that the way of man is not in himself. That it is not in man who walks to direct his steps. Correct me, O Lord, but in just measure. Not in thy anger, lest thou bring me to nothing. Pour out thy wrath upon the nations that know thee not. And upon the peoples that call not on thy name. For they have devoured Jacob. They have devoured him and consumed him. And have laid waste his habitation. Jeremiah 11 Israel and Judah have broken the covenant. The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord, Hear the words of this covenant, and speak to the men of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem. You shall say to them, Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, Cursed be the man who does not heed the words of this covenant which I commanded your fathers when I brought them out of the land of Egypt, from the iron furnace, saying, Listen to my voice, and do all that I command you. So shall you be my people, and I will be your God, that I may perform the oath which I swore to your fathers, to give them a land flowing with milk and honey, as at this day. Then I answered, So be it, Lord. 
And the Lord said to me, Proclaim all these words in the cities of Judah, and in the streets of Jerusalem, hear the words of this covenant and do them. For I solemnly warned your fathers when I brought them up out of the land of Egypt, warning them persistently, even to this day, saying, Obey my voice. Yet they did not obey or incline their ear, but every one walked in the stubbornness of his evil heart. Therefore I brought upon them all the words of this covenant, which I commanded them to do, but they did not. Again the Lord said to me, There is revolt among the men of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem. They have turned back to the iniquities of their forefathers, who refused to hear my words, they have gone after other gods to serve them, the house of Israel and the house of Judah have broken my covenant which I made with their fathers. Therefore, thus says the Lord, Behold, I am bringing evil upon them which they cannot escape, though they cry to me, I will not listen to them. Then the cities of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem will go and cry to the gods to whom they burn incense, but they cannot save them in the time of their trouble. For your gods have become as many as your cities, O Judah, and as many as the streets of Jerusalem are the altars you have set up to shame, altars to burn incense to Baal. Therefore do not pray for this people, or lift up a cry or prayer on their behalf, for I will not listen when they call to me in the time of their trouble. What right has my beloved in my house, when she has done vile deeds? Can vows and sacrificial flesh avert your doom? Can you then exult? The Lord once called you, a green olive tree, fair with goodly fruit, but with the roar of a great tempest he will set fire to it, and its branches will be consumed. The Lord of hosts, who planted you, has pronounced evil against you, because of the evil which the house of Israel and the house of Judah have done, provoking me to anger by burning incense to Baal. Jeremiah's life threatened. The Lord made it known to me and I knew. Then thou didst show me their evil deeds. But I was like a gentle lamb. Led to the slaughter. I did not know it was against me. They devised schemes, saying. Let us destroy the tree with its fruit. Let us cut him off from the land of the living. That his name be remembered no more. But, O Lord of hosts, who judgest righteously. Who triest the heart and the mind. Let me see thy vengeance upon them. For to thee have I committed my cause. Therefore thus says the Lord concerning the men of Anathoth, who seek your life, and say, Do not prophesy in the name of the Lord, or you will die by our hand. Therefore thus says the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will punish them, the young men shall die by the sword, their sons and their daughters shall die by famine, and none of them shall be left. For I will bring evil upon the men of Anathoth, the year of their punishment. Jeremiah 12. Jeremiah complains to God. Righteous art thou, O Lord. When I complain to thee. Yet I would plead my case before thee. Why does the way of the wicked prosper? Why do all who are treacherous thrive? Thou plantest them, and they take root. They grow and bring forth fruit. Thou art near in their mouth. And far from their heart. But thou, O Lord, knowest me. Thou seest me, and triest my mind toward thee. Pull them out like sheep for the slaughter. And set them apart for the day of slaughter. How long will the land mourn? And the grass of every field wither? For the wickedness of those who dwell in it. The beasts and the birds are swept away. Because men said, He will not see our latter end. God replies to Jeremiah. If you have raced with men on foot, and they have wearied you. How will you compete with horses? And if in a safe land you fall down? How will you do in the jungle of the Jordan? For even your brothers and the house of your father. Even they have dealt treacherously with you. They are in full cry after you. Believe them not. Though they speak fair words to you. I have forsaken my house. I have abandoned my heritage. I have given the beloved of my soul. Into the hands of her enemies. My heritage has become to me. Like a lion in the forest. She has lifted up her voice against me. Therefore I hate her. Is my heritage to me like a speckled bird of prey? Are the birds of prey against her round about? Go, assemble all the wild beasts. Bring them to devour. 
many shepherds have destroyed my vineyard. They have trampled down my portion. They have made my pleasant portion. A desolate wilderness. They have made it a desolation. Desolate, it mourns to me. The whole land is made desolate. But no man lays it to heart. Upon all the bare heights in the desert. Destroyers have come. For the sword of the Lord devours. From one end of the land to the other. No flesh has peace. They have sown wheat and have reaped thorns. They have tired themselves out but profit nothing. They shall be ashamed of their harvests. Because of the fierce anger of the Lord. Thus says the Lord concerning all my evil neighbors who touch the heritage which I have given my people Israel to inherit, Behold, I will pluck them up from their land, and I will pluck up the house of Judah from among them. And after I have plucked them up, I will again have compassion on them, and I will bring them again each to his heritage and each to his land. And it shall come to pass, if they will diligently learn the ways of my people, to swear by my name, as the Lord lives, even as they taught my people to swear by Baal, then they shall be built up in the midst of my people. But if any nation will not listen, then I will utterly pluck it up and destroy it, says the Lord. Jeremiah 13 The Linen Loincloth Thus says the Lord to me, Go and buy a linen waist cloth, and put it on your loins, and do not dip it in water. So I bought a waist cloth according to the word of the Lord, and put it on my loins. And the word of the Lord came to me a second time, Take the waist cloth which you have bought, which is upon your loins, and arise, go to the Euphrates, and hide it there in a cleft of the rock. So I went, and hid it by the Euphrates, as the Lord commanded me. And after many days the Lord said to me, Arise, go to the Euphrates, and take from there the waist cloth which I commanded you to hide there. Then I went to the Euphrates, and dug and I took the waist cloth from the place where I had hidden it. And behold, the waist cloth was spoiled, it was good for nothing. Then the word of the Lord came to me, Thus says the Lord, Even so will I spoil the pride of Judah and the great pride of Jerusalem. This evil people, who refuse to hear my words, who stubbornly follow their own heart and have gone after other gods to serve them and worship them, shall be like this waist cloth, which is good for nothing. For as the waist cloth clings to the loins of a man, so I made the whole house of Israel and the whole house of Judah cling to me, says the Lord, that they might be for me a people, a name, a praise, and a glory, but they would not listen. Symbol of the Wine Jars You shall speak to them this word, thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, every jar shall be filled with wine. And they will say to you, Do we not indeed know that every jar will be filled with wine? Then you shall say to them, Thus says the Lord, Behold, I will fill with drunkenness all the inhabitants of this land, the kings who sit on David's throne, the priests, the prophets, and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And I will dash them one against another, fathers and sons together, says the Lord. I will not pity or spare or have compassion, that I should not destroy them. Exile threatened. Hear and give ear, be not proud. For the Lord has spoken. Give glory to the Lord your God. Before he brings darkness. Before your feet stumble. On the twilight mountains. And while you look for light. He turns it into gloom. And makes it deep darkness. But if you will not listen. My soul will weep in secret for your pride. My eyes will weep bitterly and run down with tears. Because the Lord's flock has been taken captive. Say to the king and the queen mother. Take a lowly seat. For your beautiful crown. Has come down from your head. The cities of the Negev are shut up. With none to open them. All Judah is taken into exile. Wholly taken into exile. Lift up your eyes and see. Those who come from the north. Where is the flock that was given you? Your beautiful flock? What will you say when they set his head over you? Those whom you yourself have taught. To be friends to you? Will not pangs take hold of you? Like those of a woman in travail? And if you say in your heart. Why have these things come upon me? It is for the greatness of your iniquity. That your skirts are lifted up. 
and you suffer violence. Can the Ethiopian change his skin? Or the leopard his spots? Then also you can do good. Who are accustomed to do evil? I will scatter you like chaff. Driven by the wind from the desert. This is your lot. The portion I have measured out to you, says the Lord. Because you have forgotten me. And trusted in lies. I myself will lift up your skirts over your face. And your shame will be seen. I have seen your abominations. Your adulteries and neighings, your lewd harlotries. On the hills in the field. Woe to you, O Jerusalem! How long will it be? Before you are made clean.